Super against Yeah, you know, just how big was it for you to get that start and to come up big in a game like that in Minnesota? Um, I think it's always good, uh, especially like when your numbers call, you're just trying to be ready. But um, I mean, I honestly just just went out there, tried to make the right plays, get in the right spot, uh, try to execute the game plan. But um, yeah, definitely <clears throat> when I got thrown in the starting lineup, just just try to be just be locked in about the beat. How comfortable was it? Um, well, I mean, it's not something that I'm not used to, so uh, you know, it's just kind of another day. But um, I, I didn't go out there like you know trying to second guess anything or whatever. Literally just trying to you know put guys in the right spot, you know, make sure I'm, I'm doing what I need to do and, and trying to help us win. That game, you guys obviously jumped out to such an incredible start, and kind of jumped up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, how much did that help, kind of really set the tone for you guys? In that game? Um, I think that was big, you know, especially playing a team like that. You know, they're. Uh, they're a good defensive team, you know, they're number one in the West, so um, just coming out and having a start like that, that kind of made the night easier easier for us to roll into, you know, opposed to other nights where we kind of had a slower start. Um, so it, it's always good to get a start like that for sure. It was, it was funny seeing some of the comments that, those, that that team talked about after that, that win that you guys had. Uh, second time beating a team, beating that team on their home floor and their tops in the West. Um, you know, Jane McDaniels talked about how they're still confident they can beat you in four in a row. Just, what does that make you think about in terms of a potential playoff matchup? Um, I mean, if you know, if we were to see them in the playoffs, I'm pretty sure that's something that we would keep in mind. Uh, but I mean, you know, everyone has their own opinions. I'm pretty sure everybody thinks their team can beat everybody. So, um, I mean, nothing to really, you know, think about too much. But if, you know, if that, that were to happen, I'm pretty sure you could use that as motivation. Keon, you had uh, what, seven assists and four steals. You weren't really focused. I'm not going to say you wasn't focusing on the shooting, but mm -hmm. was that just. You know, because of the flow of the game, you know, playing uh, both ways, you know, Zimich, you know, trying to set up the guys, you know, get other shots. And right. then you had some incredible steals. Uh, one of them was Alley to uh, 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 Malik and stuff like right, that. So right, right. What was your approach on that? Um, honestly, yeah, just, just the flow of the game, letting the game come to me. You know, if there's, a, if there's a shot for me to take, I'll take it. If not, definitely try to get the ball to the right people to, to make the plays. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going out there with that, that mentality and letting the game be what it's going to be. Also, uh, what's the reads on those uh, those steals, too? Because Malik had a couple of breakaway steals, too, right. uh, that was converted into points. You guys didn't really, you know, aware of, you know, how the defense is, you know, playing out there where you can pick up those steals. I mean, it's, it's, it's just kind of a feel thing, like, um, just, just trying to be in the right spots, knowing what, what guys are trying to do, knowing that some guys are – or aren't trying to pass the ball as much as others, so trying to be in the right spots and, and knowing what guys, what moves guys like to do. So um, just just trying to be in the right spots and, and anticipate, you know, what's going on. So um, just just having a high alert. Yeah, does the free throw free throw issue something that you guys like laugh about now? Like, how do you guys kind of like, get that working in your favor? I mean, you just approach the game like you know, just just lock in when you get to the free throw line. You know, two shots, three shots, whatever it is. Um, you know, just try to focus and, and knock it down. Like we all know, like. Regardless of the struggles that we've had, <clears throat> you're still not going to make all of them. There still might be bad shooting nights. There might be good nights. So you can't let the. I mean, obviously we were in a, in a uh, slump for a while, but you can't let that really weigh on you know the future free throws. So just just gotta walk up to the line and, and be confident knocking down. You guys had that players meeting. Just is that the first time you've been part of something like that? And and how important are those things to let guys vent frustration or just like have conversations? Um, no, definitely not my first time, but uh. I mean, I think it's definitely good for, for everyone to, to voice their opinions, you know, say some things that they think might help the team and, you know, things that we need to fix and whatnot. So um, they're, they're definitely good for, for bringing teams together and, you know, trying to, trying to realign everyone's focus. Were you surprised that, that that took place before that game? Um, no. I mean, we, we had dropped a couple before that, and obviously we know that we're a better team than, you know, some of the losses we've had. So, um Definitely came at a, at a good time and a, at appropriate time for, for us to try to, you know, I mean, the, the end of the season is coming. So, you know, trying to just, just lock in a little more, you know, can't let little games slip away. Not little games, but, you know, games slip away from us that we should, you know, win or whatever. But, um, yeah, I think it definitely came at a good time. How do you get that to be sort of who you are and not just a one-time thing for, you know, holding guys accountable and all that stuff? Wait, say that one time. How do you get that to be like something that continues? It's not just like a one-time boost that you guys got from a game? Um, I mean, I, I think everyone's focus just has to be the same. I, I think, you know, next game, we all have to go into that one remembering what we all said in that meeting. Like, you know, like, hey, we didn't say that just to, to get a win against the Timberwolves. Like, you know, that's 
like something that we need to keep in our minds for the rest of the season. So that way we can finish out the season, you know, playing strong like that. So um, I think everyone needs to keep that in the back of their mind, you know, just, just all going out there trying to play for each other. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Thanks sir. Thanks, 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 Appreciate it. No problem.